Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Today, you're going to join me on my grayscale journey. I've never coloured grayscale before, not really. I tried to start one once and gave up, so we're going to do it again. And we're going to do it on camera. So welcome to Andrea's Attic. This is a hobbies channel for adults. We focus mostly on colouring, but we also sometimes do reading and photography. Um, it is an adult channel. We do discuss adult topics on this channel. And none of the videos are in any way, shape or form made for or uh, directed to children. Even if this book is kind of cutesy. So this is Jade Summer's Chibi Book, Chibi Girls Grayscale, two books in one. So it's Chibi Girls 1 and 2 in grayscale. Um, I'm going to do the ballerina, which is this one. Now, so far I've only pick, picked out some pinks. I haven't got a colour for her hair or her eyes yet. So we'll worry about that a bit later. So I have never, ever coloured skin on grayscale um, or anything like that. So I have no idea what these colours are going to come out like. I have no idea. So I have using the Everblend and I've got Peaches and Cream and Macaroon Pink as my skin colours on here. And I'm just trying to decide. Peaches and Cream is slightly lighter. So I'm going to go with Peaches and Cream and see what happens. So I've never done this before, guys. This is totally new for me. So let's see what happens. It might be a total disaster. So this is quite a light colour, so it might not work on this grey, because the grey is quite dark. And it's very, very wet on the page. But that's okay. It's This is how we learn. We learn by trying new things. And I may decide, right, okay, next time I need to use a much brighter pink or skin tone. Now I'm waiting currently for the uh, Arteza Everblend skin tones to come back in. They're actually out of stock at the moment. And I'm really desperate to get them. Now I've sold my games. So at the moment it looks horrible and that might be me. So as you can see I'm not afraid to fail in front of you because I've never really coloured grayscale. And I know that some people absolutely love it and they wouldn't colour anything else. I just find that sometimes you get some very detailed stuff on grayscale and that can be intimidating but these Jade Summer chibi books they're quite simple pictures some of them not all of them but this one there's not a huge amount on here and even though I thought it wasn't going to look very good and it was very dark it's actually not looking too bad so we're just gonna keep colouring her skin in just to see how it goes I just like this one because it's a little ballerina girl So you're just gonna, it's not a colouring chart, it's nothing like that, we're just literally watching me sink or swim with grayscale. So Jade Time have got several of their books out in grayscale, this is the only one I've got at the moment, mainly because I don't really want to replace all the books I've got as line art and get them as grayscale because then I'd have to colour the same pictures over and over again. I got enough books to, to worry about but if I like this I might the ones I haven't got that are in grayscale I might get the grayscale version instead you never know I might well do so yeah it doesn't look too bad but it's different this is di totally different for me because I've never Have a go. And we may not see what it really looks like until we get to the completed pages at the end of the month, but because we have to wait for this to dry. I just need to do something a sec. Let's 
that. Now it's the legs, so I'll just push her up. That's the wrong pin. Oh, dear me. There we go. Like I said, this is very, very weird for me. Because right now it just looks like the page is wet and it's still very grey. This is a really cute picture. Yeah, so to me, her legs look still look very grey. But then I mean, she had tights on, so her face looks, doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to change the battery, and we'll do a bit more. Okay, new battery in. Let's carry on. I've just got a cup of tea here because I'm quite thirsty. So we're going to do the ribbon and her shoes in watermelon pink. See how the different colours take to this paper, and it does look quite good. I admit that I am enjoying it. I know that somebody did comment, Oh, you'll love it with the grey scale. And I think it will depend on the pictures, but um, the simple ones to start with, I probably will. That looks so cute. Your little legs. And we'll do the ribbon in the same colour as well, I think. So other than I was going to do it pink, I haven't actually planned anything on the colours. I'm just grabbing them and putting them on to see what they look like. Like I said, I have never done grayscale before. having a go. This colour looks really nice on this paint for actually this watermelon pink. I've got to be honest these absolutely are stunning pens these ever blends. Now I know you can get replacement tips and you can buy certain colours, but uh, you know, individually, well, in packs of four, but I don't know which ones. I mean, I'd have to have a look because you might be able to select the colour you want, which would be good. Because I guess if you run out of a colour, it's a colour you're using a lot of, so it makes sense to buy a multi pack of four of the same, I guess. I'm not there yet. For me, I think it's going to be the skin tones because I love colouring skin with these. But then that's why I'm buying the skin tone set as soon as it comes in. I did contact Arteza and they said two to four weeks. So I said, I'll just, said just keep an eye out for them. I'm going to get all the Everblend markers. 
and then I'll save up and get something else. I do love colouring. And it's so nice in the evenings when Paul and Jennifer are in bed like they are at the moment. And I can just sit down here like this. On my own. Chat to you guys. Obviously this isn't a chatty video. And just colour. Or sit in front of the TV and watch rubbish on YouTube. That's looking alright, isn't it? I think I'll do a ribbon this colour as well. It's weird seeing the different colours that it goes when you put it on the grey. Do some up here on, on here now. So with grayscale, some people swear by markers and some people swear by pencils. I don't know, I haven't tried before. I might try pencils on... I got the Ruth Sanderson Christmas one, Santa's Christmas. Yeah, I might try the pencils on there. Because there's a lot more detailed work on there. Bow. Nice. I'm going to use a dress now. Oh, I think I'm not sure. I think Aurora pink. That's a nice colour. Where's Aurora? That's future. Aurora pink. Where's that? I've missed a bit there. I've got loads of different shades of pink out to try and uh,
I've seen a few versions of this and they've all looked lovely. Either in the grayscale or the line art and different people using different colours and things and it, it, they all look really nice. At least I'm using some different colours. These are so nice. Oops. I'm now going to put a really bright pink under there. I'm going to put fuchsia under it. The next layer is going to be fuchsia. Mainly because I want to see how the different colours look on the grayscale. Well, it looks quite nice, I think, with different colours. So, like I said, there's not much talking on this. It's not a proper colouring chat. It is mainly just me having a go at doing this grayscale for a few minutes. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. Yeah, I think Jade Summer Grayscale books are a must. The ones that have that have got grayscale versions that I haven't got the book of, I may well get the grayscale version instead. I'm seriously thinking about it. I might try a couple more pictures yet before I order any more, but I'm liking the way this is coming out with the I think the, the, her legs look really good. It just looks like she's wearing like proper tights, you know, like that dancers wear. Although technically ballerinas would wear white tights. Well, it depends on the costume. I just thought we'd just do them a normal flesh coloured. Hmm. We could do lots of different colours on this one, really, because it's like almost like she's uh, wearing a swan costume from Swan Lake the different feathers and things but uh, we're gonna do it as three different colors the, the dress so we've used the aurora pink and the fuchsia and we'll probably use the fluorescent on the underskirt you really don't have to do any blending on this it's cool you could, if you wanted, you could add more, but uh, you don't have to. I could colour kind of faster with the um, chisel tip. I'm just doing it like this. I'm just going to have a sip of my tea. Mm. It does look nice. We'll just do these little bits in that colour. Some of it will, some of it won't. Yeah, these 
these bits will be. This is so much fun. This grayscale is really good actually. So I think for now I'll stick to Jade Summer Grayscale. Until I get a bit more used to it. I'll colour in more of these definitely. Like I said the Ruth Anderson book which is so detailed. I might try and do some in pencil. I have got the the colour in Heaven Christmas special that her pictures are in so and that's what I tried to start before and I just didn't like the way that the pen the marker looked on it. It was the wrong colour for the paper. But this is all right. I'm enjoying this. Is that fluorescent? Fluorescent pink. It's just for this bit of underskirt here and that top bit there. So, should I do the curtains traditional red? Or should I do it blue or purple? A purple. Mm. Most theatre curtains are red, aren't they? But of course, I can do whatever colour I want to. I always get another copy of the book, can't I? I might go for a nice dark blue, I think. There we go. Let's have a look at the blues. Mykonos blue. Oh, that's a nice colour. Mykonos blue, isn't that? Mykonos blue. I'm going to do my curtains in Mykonos blue. And that's remembering which bits of curtains and that's the background. So we'll just start off here. So this is all part of the curtains here. I'm not very good with the chisel. see what it does look like at the end. So I probably never would have bought this if I hadn't seen um, Anne over at Colourful Life colouring in her, I think it's Jade Summer Fairies Grayscale book. And I thought, wow, that actually goes on really nicely on like, the Jade Summer books. You're not watching me, are you? It's my fault. Um, I'm going to have to get Jade Summer books, see what it's like, give it another go. Like I said, I really didn't like the way it looked on the Colour in Heaven paper. But that's just, I think it was me, not the book or the, the picture. I think I tried to do something too complicated too soon. So I'm happy with this. Uh, 
I love the way that the stage is actually like boards like that. makes it look like a school stage because most real stages are black well they are in the UK like the, the stage I used to go on the stages I used to go on are all, have always been black and then because you can paint them with paint obviously with paint um, and we would paint the, the, the stage and then just paint it black again when we'd finished Alternatively, you'd um, put rugs and carpets down. So that just makes it look like it's a a school. Because our school stage was like that. I mean, there probably are stages out like that, but uh, I've not really seen them, so... It's nice to try different things. My hand is starting to ache, so I'm not going to do much more. We've been doing it for 20 minutes, though. There we go. That is the edge of the curtain there. question is do you want to oops oh dear that's a disaster want me do you want me to finish this on camera or do you want me to just finish off camera and show you what it looks like at the end because I'm not talking very much because obviously this isn't a colouring chat this is just a watch me attempt grayscale um, I can happily I would happily finish it for you on camera if you want me to um, but of course I don't have to it's not it doesn't bother me either way I can finish this off on my own at any time I mean it does encourage me to make videos for you if you want to see it but if you if you're not bothered I'll just finish it off on my own after I've filmed a colour in chat and I've got the markers out or I don't colour at the table normally. If I'm colouring for myself oh excuse me, indigestion. I colour on my sofa. But the markers I can use on the sofa, but I need to have a lot of space. So it's definitely something that has to be done. Um when Paul's in bed and normally I colour with on the sofa when he's up and we're watching TV and Jennifer's in bed and I'm not filming so it's up to you if you want to see me finish it I will happily finish it on on camera it doesn't it, it's fine just let me know in the comments below if you want to see this finished on camera or not because I'll happily do it leaving a little gap there where that little thing is that's just to um put a different colour on although actually no oops I've gone out the lines again aren't I terrible shouldn't be allowed to make videos should I I love making videos, I'm not going to lie. It's good fun.
can count. So we've been going 24 minutes, so I do think that's enough, really, for a video that's just about grayscale and me colouring it for the first time properly. Or unproperly, I'm not actually sure. Also, what colour should I do your eyes? Should I do them green or should I do them blue? I think I'll probably do them green, but hey. So that is um, it for today. Let's just have a quick look. So that's what I've done on Chippy Girls Grayscale. I do quite like the way the colours are looking at the moment. Um, obviously, we'll wait to see how it looks when it dries. I can always put another coat on the blue if necessary. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video of me having a go at Grayscale for the very, very first time. Um, if you have, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time a new video is posted. And I will see you all, I'm losing my voice, in the next one. Bye guys.